In the fall of 1829, Grimke resolved to leave Charleston and the pollutions of slavery for an uncertain future in the North. There's a kind of fearlessness about Angelina Grimke. Women did not strike out. White women did not strike out on their own in this way. And Southern white women certainly did not. She moved to Philadelphia and joined her like-minded sister, Sarah. There, Angelina discreetly followed reports of the abolitionist movement. She was reluctant to get involved, fearing that would bring disgrace to her mother back in Charleston. But as she read reports of the rising tide of pro-slavery violence, Grimke finally decided that she could remain silent no more. 